Oh my, we got the W Magazine. And this is Zendaya, she's a very pretty girl. This is a big magazine. We'll probably do one of these in my big journal. What is that? That's very odd. Ooh, that's a great sweater. That is a great sweater. This is the magazine where every picture I go, oh, this is amazing, this is amazing, this is amazing. That's fun. Those are great arms. Not quite big enough for there, but still very good arms. That would be a pretty border. Fendi. Fendi rocking it for us. Oh, look at this. That's fun. I've used those for tummies. I've used those for Bulgari, yes. I've used them for tummies. I've used them for crowns. They're very handy to have. Oh, these girls. Great legs, great jeans. I used her. She was in a different picture. But I used her shirt. And I might have used her legs. Funny. Funny. Oh, dancer. Big Van Cleef and Arpels. Butterflies. Michael Kors. See, this is the thing. When it's not shiny for you, then it's shiny for me. So I'm not sure. Who gets to win? Ooh, country house. I like that screen. See, this kind of bougie house is where I'm supposed to be living. Instead, I'm living in suburbia. Those are hairballs. Just wanted to point it out. That's a hair. Ooh, I'm not okay with this guy. I don't like the hair stuff. Okay. Ooh, I haven't used like a, like a man's leg lately. Is that the right size with those really good arms? Remember we seen them up here with the pocketbook? Okay, we're gonna do that. Because oh, those legs are calling to me. And these arms were calling to me. Now we just have to find something to put in the middle. I might use that as the border, or at least part of the border. Ooh, there's more black and white right there. There would be more good border. Interesting. I like it. I like the layout of that photo. We could do a stack of Karens. Make those the tummy. Ooh, that's a good background too. I really like that.
I'm not exactly sure it's the background for the same piece, but Christian Dior. This is a very fancy magazine. I think we make some backgrounds. Two. I'll do it with you. Don't worry. Look at that, that's beautiful. So, oh, I was just thinking I don't have a head. See, she does the same thing I do. She puts a bunch of uh, flowers on people's heads. Sure. Oh, this is Penelope Cruz. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, oh, I'm going to have to make trees now. Because I make trees out of those kind of dresses. I'm cool like that. Ooh, the W's spark in all kinds of creativity. I don't have a head yet, though. That's distressing. Zendaya. Zendaya is the most beautiful girl, and you can't even see her. Why so? Violent Femmes. Maggie Gyllenhaal. I love her. Well, <laughs> we're hurting a little bit for heads. I got arms. I got legs. I got tummies. I think I got tummies. But I need a head and a face. Ooh, those are cool glasses. Now, I just need to find a head to put them on. Balenciaga. That is a great sh These girls. Oh. Stark Raving Mod. Mmm. Cute. Okay, let's real quick just go back through what we have because I have a lot of border stuff, I know. I'm going to make trees with these. I love making trees with those. Um, this is going to go with this and be a border. This is going to start a border for sure. This is going to be the border, I think, for this piece I'm doing. We have the arms and we have the legs. We don't even have a tummy. Okay, I need a head. <laughs> I need functionally everything for this one. I have eyes, arms and legs. So I need a head and I need a tummy. I don't like square tummies. It seems really predictable to use that, but... It's, but it caught my eye. Let's go with what catches my eye. And now we just need a big head. I might be stuck with this. That's kind of the only big head I remember seeing. And now I need a hat. That's an amazing hat. Oh, there's 
that Zendaya. Oh, I can use her. I've used her before. Oh, it's coming together. Do we want to see if we can find some funky hair for her too? I don't know. Now I'm all inspired. Ooh, do we use the big skirt to make her hair? Let's try that. Okay, there we go. We have the big skirt for hair. We have, and I can cut at the, keep that middle. We have Vendaya's, Zendaya's head. This is gonna be a hat. We have a tummy. We have the glasses. We have the arms, the legs, and a bunch of borders. So I am going to go cut these out and I will be back. We have a guest crafter. Oh my goodness. You are not even gonna believe how many cool things we have in here. So this is the W Magazine. And we have this cool border stuff. We have, oh my goodness, do we want to make this a glue book? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So we could just totally make this the back or We could use half, oh, that's what we're gonna do. Are you ready? You're gonna love this. We're gonna make two backs. Because I think I have enough for two collages and I think one of them is gonna be amazing. So we're gonna make blue book collages. We'll use this one as the back of this. So let's get our stuff out. And I have a black and white border and then I have a um, yellow border. So we're gonna have to figure out which is going to be which, but we're gonna do this first. Okay, I don't like that big of anything. So let's start splitting this up. All right, so now we have some black and white stuff. Let's go ahead and put this down. Oh, kitty. So we're gonna put this all over the back and this is gonna be a glue book. And I'm gonna do that again for the other one and I will be right back. So we're gonna have two of these. Okay, so now we have two backgrounds. Let's do, let's do this one with the black. So we're just gonna go around. This already, this doesn't look exactly like it's the same piece. So we're just gonna go around here. And this is a skirt on a houndstooth background. It was quite a fancy background. Let's go ahead and put this in a corner. And what I'm trying to do is I have a lot of houndstooth and I have a few of these pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these pieces around first so that I know they go all the way around and we don't have such a plain Jane um, thing. And then we'll put the houndstooth around the rest of the place, which will be pretty because it is a pretty pattern, right? So let's go. Very nice up there. And then one more piece of this, and then we're gonna be on to 
doing the hound's tooth around the rest of it. Okay. That looks like a corner. And the reason why I wouldn't want big, huge lines of, um, you know, like when you cut a piece like this, you cut a long piece, you could have a big, huge line that you could go down the edge, right? But the thing for me that I like to do, see, I could do that piece because I'm gonna bring other things in so it's not so boring. But if I was just gonna do a border around where I just have the same pieces, I kind of feel like I could take scrapbook paper, maybe, or something not interesting and do that same thing where I'm trying to add my creativity to this project. I'm going to fill in the rest of these and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. And what I also like is when it goes in and out, it just, I just think it's more interesting. So that's the first one. And we can throw out these other how tooth pieces. I don't save stuff like that anymore. Um, I used to, but it has become like over, like it could be overwhelming to have so much stuff. So we are gonna cut some of these pieces. Now I will probably save some background pieces if we have leftovers, just because, um, like generic background pieces like this. Like I like graphic stuff that looks like this. So this piece would be something I might save. Okay, so we have this yellow stuff, we have this yellow stuff, and I think I have a cougar in here too. Hold on, yep, I have a piece of cougar. So let's cut this in half so we can spread the cougar love. I'm gonna leave that for the end. Let's make sure we get this black piece. Dink, dink. this in half so we can move this around the project and this in half Christian Dior is what that is okay here we go so let's do so in the real world things that are darker on the bottom so I'm going to use two of these Christian Dior's kind of on the bottom moving toward and then moving towards the bottom and that's kind of a composition thing. I have a whole video about magazine collage composition, but that's one of those composition things where people will see it and they won't understand why they it's pleasing, but they'll find it pleasing because you don't have the dark stuff on the top, which would make them feel weird because in nature, dark stuff is on the bottom, like the ground and things like that. So... If you can kind of um, go with the laws of nature and have more of a dark base on the bottom and more of a light base or a light airy top, your viewers will um, generally feel better about your design. And they won't know why. It'll be like a secret. Okay, let's put something else down here though. Like a piece of gray, yep, a piece of gray will be good. And then we'll use one of our cougar ones down here. Let's fill in with a piece of cougar. We are tree huggers here, so we don't advocate using cougars. It was a statue. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm going to fill this in and I will be back. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to do, that's really ratty. I do like a ratty edge, but that was incredibly ratty. And then we're going to throw away the rest of this yellow. Okay, so now let's take a look at what we have. 
And I'm going to pause. You have to go see. Wally might have to go potty. Okay. So now we have two really cool backgrounds. We have the houndstooth one and we have this one. So we're going to start to think about putting people together. So we have Zendaya. And I thought this could be her hair, right? And I think I want it to be... Kind of like that maybe. And then we have these fancy glasses for her. I feel like I want her to have bangs with her hair. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. Uh, that's scary. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. How do we give her bangs? I got some red. But I feel like I could do it with this. Okay. Because I have a hat. Hold on. Where's her hat? Okay. Here's her hat. So I can fix lots of things with this hat. Right? So if I were to cut off the top of her hairy head. Right? Let's do that. There we go. Okay. So now... I need to make bangs right about here. So let's see if we can do that. So up. Up. And worst case scenario, if I hate my bangs, I can just... Um, glue all this down, right? Right. Okay, 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 okay. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's see what happens with that. I think I'm gonna have to cut more of her, more over, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, she has bangs. That's amazing. Yay, me. Right? And then we put her hat on. Oh, my goodness. I am brilliant. Yeah, I don't want that to come over. I just want it to be right there. Don't you biggie shame my biggie yeah. little rat. Okay, now we're going to put her glasses on. And we won't be able to see our, her bangs as much as we would have. But the whole point is to have layers of stuff so that it looks real. Or as real as, you know, the weirdness that we do can look. But I love how her fringe came out. Okay, here we go. Let's put this on, put her glasses on. Like so, cool. I think the extra boys I have right now are going home with their mom. Okay, there we go. All right, do we want, I think I want to, t I want to leave, I want to take her and go around here and not have her whole neck. Uh-oh, did I accidentally cut? I think I accidentally cut. There we go. I think I accidentally cut that, but it doesn't matter because I can glue it down. And this will all dry out and dry flat. Okay, so then we want to put her. Oh, how much subs do you have? 
Over 3,000? <laughs> I will. If you do art with me, I will totally give you a shout out. And all the nice ladies will follow you. Alright. We're not old. We're delightful. Alright. There we go. So now she has her hat on. She has her thing. There we go. Nice. Now, now we need to move on to her body. And we have a couple of different feet we can choose between. We have these cool, I look, kind of like these feet. And I was thinking, okay, we have to see how tall we have, and we have to figure out which one we want to put her on. That one feels like it has way more red, so we're going to put her on this one. And I can cut off her hat a little bit, but I don't want to cut it off too much. So maybe she won't have feet, but she'll have weird arms, because I have weird arms for her. Like this. Okay, let's take this off, because we don't want these arms. These are just normal arms. Nobody wants normal arms. There we go. We're gonna go right up there. And come right down here. Cute. I think she's going to be fun. Okay. Now, I do want to keep her pocketbook with her. So we're going to do this. And I don't cut their arms off of them until I get over here. Because I have lost their arms before on the trip over. I know you would think it would be hard to lose people's arms, but it's not. It really is quite easy to lose people's arms. Okay, so now we have this. And I want to cut out this middle part so that she has an arm, but she also has a pocketbook, right? And these arms are totally not the right size for her body, but that's kind of the point, right? There you go. She's got a little, little tiny pocketbook. Now I could very aggressive neck. I don't want that aggressive a neck. I have a little stool for later. All right, we have a bunch for another time. Let's see. Let's see. There's even some more borders. I'll put in my little pile of borders I could use later. There's another one. There's another one. Another. Okay. So, do I have a whole no I don't even think I have a whole nother person. I have this, which is going to be a um, trees, but I need a lot smaller person for trees. So, we're going to put that to the side, and we're just going to do her. She is going to be the main feature. Oh, poor Biggie, his... <laughs> His friends, the boys from down the street, have abandoned him, and now he's just stuck with Josiah. It's one of those things where it's, you know, somebody else's dog is always so much more fun than your dog. Okay, do we want her to have her arm come in here? Like this? Oh, I think I did. Okay, so we're just going to catch the very edge of this. I feel like she's very cool. I might do some cool stuff with her. 
she might be super snazzy and I'm just gonna draw in a neck for her and her arm is going to come off the edge. All right, let's stick her on. I feel like she's very Willy Wonka. Around her edge, this part I cut. Oh, I don't think they actually left. I hear boys playing basketball on the front lawn. Boys are always playing basketball. Okay, let's do that. Let's glue this down really good. Oh, look at how cool she is. I just think she's amazing. I don't want to break this, but I do want to get it stuck down. Piggy's friend came back. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to stick her little weird arms here. And I am going to watch junk YouTube. I watch a lot of... Um, little commentary people about cults because I'm very worried I'm going to get sucked into a cult. Okay, here we go. She's going to be right here. Oh, get your little arm out front. And then when I cut this part off, right, this is going to make a great skirt for somebody else. Very cute. Oh, my goodness. There we go. All right, so I am going to doodle this tonight, and I will be back. No, the kids are gone. You're just going to have to live with Josiah. Okay, for you girls that like a long video, this one is for you. So I was watching Tim Holtz last night, and it got towards where I needed to go to bed. And I was like, I'm going to sit down this morning and do this. And then I thought, oh, they always want to see all the things. So... I am going to frame this one because I love it so much. And I am going to show it, to show the rest of it to you. So that's kind of crazy. Things I've done so far. I fixed her collar. I painted it with Posca paint pens. This was her hair. The first black stripe is her hair. But I wanted to clean up that little collar there. I outlined in really dark black. So this is um, a little different. Usually I would do really dark black and then the dot dash and all that stuff. This time I'm not doing that. Um, I don't think, but I just double outlined the outside. I painted her thing. Here's what's the funniest part. Okay, her neck I had to draw in and then I painted it white. So it was just sitting there like a sore thumb. And then there was a spot on this gal's nose, and I thought it was um, glue. So I rubbed it, and it wasn't glue, and then she had a white spot on her nose. So then I had to fix her nose, and I'm like, that doesn't look right. And then I had to fix this, and then once there were two of them, it looks fine. So do not panic when you think you've ruined your thing. Just keep going. All right. So, I have, this is like a little um, metallic one, and I tested this last night on this one little piece of hair. So, I have painted um, red stripes in her red hair, okay? And I am going to go down and highlight the red stripes I painted in her red hair. And it's really hard to see them. It's a little bit easier because there's a tiny bit of a glare for me. I know there isn't one for you. This is so funny. Either I can have a glare or you can have a glare. And in my new uh, in my new office, you don't have a glare, but I have a glare. I don't want to be fussy, but it feels like if somebody should not have a glare, it should be me. Okay. There we go. There we go. 
I feel like her bangs that we made turned out amazing. I wasn't sure. So first, I wasn't sure about cutting the bangs, right? So this is how you have to do magazine collage. At first, I wasn't sure about cutting the bangs. And then, once I had cut the bangs, and then I put the glasses on, I wasn't sure about it because it seemed like they sort of disappeared. And then, um, now that I'm to this point, I love them again. So, please, in the middle of your um, pieces, especially, like, this to me feels like it's really cool. Like, I love the fact that I took a skirt and made it her hair and that I love it so much, and that I took a bag and made it um, her hat, and it just looks all Willy Wonka to me. This is, this is totally, she doesn't have any stripe up here. Ah, well, we're gonna go with what we have. Because if I paint it, then I'm setting myself back quite a bit. Remember, we don't worry about problems. We just keep going forward because that's literally not a problem. It's annoying that I didn't bother to do that last night, but it is not a problem. Okay, almost done, almost done. What is this thing going on here? Oh, that's the bot. What is that? I don't know what that is. There's something strange sticking out there in magazine collage that will happen. We're not gonna, we're just gonna ignore it and pretend it is not there. Okay, I got it. Okay. I would have thought it would be in the middle, so it is in the middle. Okay. So the other half of this is right now, I am all up in my stuff, right? I am literally looking at every centimeter of her hair. But now that we have this done and you know that there's a spot missing up here, you wouldn't actually think about it at this point because there's so much else going on. So this is, when we're all up in our stuff, we can get very fussy but it's not necessary. Okay, so a couple things I need to do. I need to, I need to fix this. So I don't like how those stand out from her. Like I don't like the whiteness of them. So I am going to make them up and down um, squares with black and white. They'll still be white, but there won't be so much, and there won't be big spots of it. Hi, Kitty, come on in. Come on, you come craft with Mommy. So, I'm gonna show you one and how much difference it makes, and then I'm gonna go and do them by myself because this will be a wee bit time consuming. So, I just do them with a tiny Posca pen, and then I come in here with the big black Posca pen. Somebody said you could refill them. I don't know what kind of magic that is. I would have so much more money if Posca would sponsor me. I spend so much money on Posca pens. There should be a line item on my taxes. Always get them on sale. I wish there were more colors. I'll have to try out. Diane Ravely has paint markers. I got her white and black ones and I couldn't really get them to work, but honestly, I was just being a little fussy. So I might have to try them again the next time. I just got a mystery box from Ranger. I don't know what that means, but they offered a rate a mystery box, and I was like, I like mysteries. So we'll do a video where we open the mystery box. Okay, I'm gonna do all those, and I will be back. I feel like I have two choices down here with her sweater. I, if in a perfect world, I would make her the lines in her sweater yellow. 
But let me show you what happens with the yellow pen. Oh, it's okay. Because I used it a bunch yesterday. Sometimes if you don't use your pens, they don't um, work. If my yellow pen wouldn't have been working good, because sometimes it doesn't, I would have made these lines purple. Because I can't be bothered trying to get something to work for hours at a time. So I am going to, well, this is going pretty fast. I was gonna kick you out again, but this is going relatively fast. Little um, glue globs around. How does it look? I can't really see it from up top here. Oh, it looks cute. I want her to be color coordinated. She looks very pretty. Okay, while we're hanging out here, I wanna tell you things I'm thinking about. So I am thinking about um, painting more of her hat. Made you look, didn't I? Yeah, I I don't love that. Um, oh, how pretty is this? There's like a a big piece of trim here. So we're gonna color that big piece of trim, and then back to our lines. Um, I don't really like putting other people's art in my art. Um. I don't care if anybody puts my art in their art, but I'm I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm not an artist artist. So to me, it feels like that is very specifically um, probably an artist, uh, an artist's work that that purse company um, licensed, right? So that's somebody's art. And maybe they don't want it used in a ridiculous magazine collage. So, and thus, we are going to just do a little bit with it. Okay, let's get her big cuff down here. I feel like I want an even bigger cuff. We're gonna go over a little bit more, just to give that a really good Cuffage. Oh, that's better. I like that. There we go. And I'm going to check after. But I will tell you, most times I go over the Posca pens twice. Um, I do them, I let them dry, and then I go over them again. Why is there like a circly bit in that one? Okay. When in Rome. Okay, okay, okay. Doop, 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 doop. There we go. Oh, that looks better, don't you think? I do. I think that looks more like it's part of my artwork and less like it's part of, like just magazine collage stuck down. Okay, now look at this. This pocketbook has, um, oh geez, I didn't bring my old lady glasses in, has checkers on it already. How exciting is that? I don't even have to draw checkers this time. They just came with it. And I don't know if I would have done this much on all my pieces. Because most of the time I'm just doing a fun little, I don't know, I did a, a lot on last night's. Maybe I'm getting fancier. Okay, so when I started, for sure, I would not have done this much on a piece. 
but I'm really excited. So let's, I showed you my journal start to finish. Let's talk about how I feel like I got better at magazine collage. See, if you're going to want me to make long videos, I'm going to preach at you. Taking you to church today. Okay, so one of the very main things that I got better at doing, um, how I got better at doing magazine collage was I did a lot of magazine collage, right? So by doing that, I found out the things in magazine collage that I like and that I don't like. So I like their heads to be big. I like to make their eyes sad, meaning I tip them around. I don't have as fancy eyelashes as some of the people do. Um, and that's fine, right? That doesn't make mine better or theirs better or anything. It just makes mine different. Um... I'm really getting, I'm really starting to dig doing something fun with their hair or having a hat. Like I just did this one where I made her hat and that was a teacup and I truly love how that turned out. So I feel like there's some things that I'm doing now that I didn't do at the start that are making a huge difference. <sighs> Another thing that I feel like helped my magazine collage is I took a class from Diane Reevely. Well, I didn't take one class from Diane Reevely. I took a ton of classes from Diane Reevely on magazine collage. I'll link some of them below. Some of them are like 20 bucks. One was like, a couple of them were like 80 bucks. I took out a... So the reason I paint on my collages, this is this one. The reason I paint on my collages is because I took a class from her on how to paint on collages. Otherwise, I would not know how to paint on collages. I guess I could figure it out, but... So not only like the technique of... Anybody can take Bosca pens and paint on collages, but some of the techniques that I use are definitely inspired by Diane. Oh, this pink is horrible. I love this pink, though. Let's see if we can get this pink to work. My concern is over there, it's going to be very fat. This is such a pretty pink. So when you think about it, nobody but you and I know what I what colors I think this should be. So this is a turquoise. I don't have is that in there? That's not even in there. I didn't use that. Okay, what's our next color? Red. I have a lot of red. Oh, we could use red. Get a little bit of red up in here. And you'll notice this is a different kind of one. This is a one for all, Molito. I like the Poscas better. I find that with the Molito, often I have to go over it again more than I do with some other ones. Is that a little bit of black? I feel like that's a little bit of black. Let's put some black in here. Hi, Kitty. Just to kind of break up all this color. It's a lot of color for me. I feel like this has a real Willy Wonka vibe. Okay, there we go. 
Let's keep going over here. I have this green, which I think is that green that I used right there. Hi, honey. And we're gonna take this one and come around this way. I'm kind of trying to go over parts of it that are instantly recognizable as this artist's work. And now I feel like, well, I'm not done, but I feel like it's more kind of swirly painty. Then it is, um, than it was before. Okay. Ooh, I kind of love that. All right, where'd that purple go? I don't know if you could mix the purple. I mean, I don't know if the paints mix. The purple is a wonderful marker. Okay. I'm feeling like I'm going to color the whole part of this. This is, oh, this is that really pretty. Dark burgundy color, so let's do this over here. And so let's make a swirl that goes this way. I kind of like that one. All right. And they're stitching on this hat. I am almost feeling like I might want to have some faux stitching around it, just with a little bit of white. Okay. Other colors in here. Red, we have to get the red back. There's the red. Because the red goes next to the purple. Actually, the red goes next to the, yeah. And then the purple is in the middle. Doesn't matter. You know that, right? If I had put the wrong ones in the wrong place, there's not actually a right or a wrong place. You got that, right? Right. Okay. Just checking. So I don't like this swirl in here. I would rather make that purple. It's like a gold flourish, but it's not doing it for me. I gotta get some more of that light blue back in here. Because part of what makes things look cool is contrast. So the the light blue and the light green contrasting against these dark colors, which are the ones I like, okay? I totally dig the dark red. I totally dig the, um, the burgundy.
feel like burgundy is a must be a hard color to make because nobody will make freaking burgundy. Tim Holtz is like, get over it. I'm not making you burgundy. And I don't know why. Because he's not generally kind of a hateful guy. He likes us. But maybe it's hard to make burgundy. You never know. See, this one doesn't cover. Even on white, this one doesn't cover as well as some of those other ones that we've been using. Poor thing. Okay. Oh, we got that green. Got to keep those green, those lighter colors coming in. This green is really good. It's not that it, it's the lighter dark colors. It's just whatever the formulation of the paint is. Okay, that now doesn't look right to me. Because I don't have any pink in there. And I'm not adding it. You can't make it. Okay, so we have that. I'm thinking that's going to be two colors. We could use a little red over here. I'm just trying to make sure the colors go all around. Is that hair? No. Okay. Um, let's do... Let's do dark pink at the end of that. It's only because I like it. I didn't really like figure out what was supposed to be there. different colors of purple to be honest with you I think I just put my hand down in wet paint you know that feeling where you're like oh yeah I just painted that pink Then I put my hand down in it. Okay, I'm finishing this one off. There we go. I have two little spots left. I don't want to do them in black. Because there's a lot of black. I'm going to have to go with a pink. Oh, I have a maroon. We're going to go with this maroon. Because this is just like a little darker maroon. It will act as a neutral that nobody will ever notice or think, why is that color there? It's not anywhere else. And it comes out good. Nobody but you and I will ever know that there's two little pieces of maroon. hide that from ourselves. Okay, I'll show you how I organize my Posca bag. So I have my black and whites here all the time. So these guys go in here. Black and whites have their own little section. Skinny minis have their own little section. So they all go right here. 
Usually I don't have the red in here, but because I've been using it so much on that project. Then these are the mediums. They kind of hang out with the big ones. There's big ones. Then these are my pit brush pens, and those are my Tim Holtz crayons. So that is my needle nose pliers because I need them so much. And this, and usually there's a huge pair of scissors too. Okay, back to work. All right. See, I now that I came back on it, I'm like, that is adorable. Let's go back over this one more time. Hey, kitten. And it probably will not make a huge difference, but it makes a little difference. And it takes a second to do because we already did it, right? Okay, turn your page rather than your hand. I was starting to like really turn my hand and that will never go well for you. You always want to turn your page instead of your hand. Okay. I kind of love her outfit. I probably won't mess with this anymore. Like I was singing the other day, yesterday, that I could make her more buttons or I could do that, but I don't think that's the feature of this. All right, I got to look at this real quick. Okay, so now we're going to start, now we're going to, I lied, now we're going to go back through and outline everything again, because I got paint on it. There we go. This is really cool. I'm excited about this one. Right, right, right here. Keep turning your paper so that it's easy for you to do. I'm a righty, so I do it so that right-handed people can do it. That is fun. Okay. I am done with the yellow. Yes, yes, I am. Okay, so now we are going to outline this. put a little bit of stitching around here. Probably nobody but you and I will ever notice this, but it doesn't matter because it's all the little things. That you do that add up to a really cool magazine collage. There's not going to be one thing that I do that I'm going to say, oh, that was the thing that made me love this. Like, I love the hat on that I just showed you out of the teacup. But if it was just a teacup hat and I didn't do any of the other stuff, then it would not feel like it belonged anywhere. So... It's everything. There we go. Am I done with black? I think so. Ooh, I think I'm gonna outline her pocketbook. Just to give it a little gravitas. Oh, and I have to outline the edge of the border. Hold on. I thought we were getting close to being done, but I don't think we are. All right, let's outline her. Uh -huh. 
arm and her cuff. She got a Coco Chanel bag. Fancy. Okay, so now we have to do this edge, this edge. And as Diane says, it makes it look like it belongs on the page, not just like you stuck a bunch of stuff on a piece of paper. That was weird. Something weird to happen there. And I feel like the squares that I made really left the idea of um, it being black and white all around, but it knocked it back enough that um, that now it doesn't feel like it's sticking out. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm the world's worst bluer. Okay. It is time. So this is going to be the last step that I do with you. Boop, boop, boop. I am going to start shading with Posca pens. So to do her hair, I'm going to do a magenta. Anytime I do on red, I do a magenta and a red. So we're going to start. Oh, wrong one. We're going to start at the bottom and make the bottoms of her hair. A little darker than the rest of her hair. And I try not to get over the paint, but if I get over the paint, I don't fret about it. I think on the shiny paint it matters. I'm not sure it matters on the regular paint. I'm not sure it matters at all. I think it just all makes her a little bit more dimensional. I think I did the wrong sides on that one. Oopsie. And you know what? It's just fine because there are no mistakes in art. Okay, there we go. We could do a little bit of shading here where her hair is overlapping. Right, let's go down this way. And that will help sell the idea that these just black painted lines are actually hair delineations. I don't know what they're called. Okay, nice. So that is that part of her hair. Let's do this part. We're gonna go up further with a little bit of red. We could add another line to the hair delineation. Did I add more to the, I don't think I add more to all. And the cool thing about the, the pit India ink pens is they don't stay on acrylic paint. They don't stay like, um, did I not do this at all? Um, Uh, they don't stay like a color. They soak in. Oh, look at that. Now, that doesn't look like painted hair anymore. It has some dimension. It has some color. It has some body. It has some color. Okay, let's, um, let's do a little bit up here. So we're going to come along here, and we're just going to give it 
a little bit. We're gonna come along here. We're gonna give it a little bit. I feel like it makes the helps make the paint not look so flat. Because Posca pens are matte, right? We could probably, do I have a purple? I do have a purple. Um, and so they contend. To look a little bit, blah. Let's do, let's do a side on this. We're gonna come around here too. And I'm just shading randomly. I'm not trying to make a color. Sometimes I try to make a color. Um, or a color. I, um, shadow. But that is not what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to give dimension to the different little... I don't know if that one works. We'll have to check it. Good, I'm checking all these before I get to my very special. Oh, that one works, yay. Oh my God, that's amazing. On that green. Oh, yay, so glad, see. Anything kind of sticking out as gross. Do we kind of want to go all the way? Now I kind of want to go all the way around. Just a little, like around that stitching. I need to outline it. I wasn't going to do that, but I feel like it looks like a bunch of paint on a page. cohesive pattern. Now I might just do the outsides of this wiggle right in there, but I'll do these top parts. See, because doing those three in there, that would be very small. And let me know in the comments below, because you can see this better than I can, if you liked it better before or after I outlined the hat parts. Because I know at least some of you are going, no, don't do that.
And for those of you who are mad that this video is so long, I get so many comments that people want longer videos. So today, those people are happy. Kind of veered off here. Painting like a drunk sailor. Okay, now that I see it painted, I like it a million times better. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to work on her glasses. We're just going to do a little bit of shading and I don't even know that you can tell it's on there after a while. But I feel like it really unflattens that Posca paint pen. Right? It just gives it a little bit more dimension. I cannot talk and paint at the same time. I feel like this is very cute. Now I want something to outline the top of the green the same way I did that. So I do have green. Let's use pink as the, because I do not have a lighter. Purple. I have one purple. I don't know why people hate purple so much. See, that ink's just sinking right in, but it, there's a little bit there. Take a look at her done. Hold on, I gotta hold her up. Okay, I feel like we need to just go around these glasses one more time because they kinda got a little mooshed up with this stuff. A 
guys see that? It looks a lot better. And I'm just trying to have a relatively straight glasses line. Sometimes I find when I go faster, I can draw a straighter line than if I'm trying to do it going slowly. All right, I think she's done, at least for now. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.